Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Welch. I am the state representative for the 7th District. I want to welcome you all here to the Maywood Library. Last week, we were here standing outside demanding that the doors of the library reopen to the children of our community and to our community. Today, we are here, and I'm honored to be here with the folks standing with me, to announce that the library will reopen to the community and to our children on Tuesday. They're opening on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday, and in observance of the Veterans Day holiday, the library will be closed on Monday. For these children to my left, to the children in our community, and to all of the kids in this great village, today is a victory. Today is a victory for our children, but it is also a victory for our community. I want to break down the anatomy of how we were able to get the library back open after a two-week closure. The mayor and I have had numerous meetings with both uh, folk from her staff at the village, a number of people from the library, uh, including the executive director, Mr. Huntington, and the board members, uh, led by the board president, Ms. Mosley, and Seaway Bank. What will allow the bank to reopen starting on Tuesday, and Mr. Huntington will, in his comments, explain to you what the hours of operation will be going forward, is that Seaway Bank, who in partnership with all of us, has approved an extension on the $517,000 that the library currently owes the bank, and that extension is for a 12-month period. That extension has been signed by the library and is in effect. Seaway Bank has also approved a loan of $150,000 secured by the lot right next door here to the library. That infusion of $150,000 will allow the library to open on Tuesday. Also a critical part of this and a partner with the library and and keeping this safe haven open for our kids is the village of Maywood. With the leadership of the mayor and the village manager, Mr. Barlow, the village of Maywood convened a board meeting on Thursday night where they have put together the framework for an agreement that should be finalized at their regular board meeting on November 19th. And that intergovernmental, intergovernmental agreement between the village of Maywood and the library will infuse another $150,000 into the library's coffers. That will help the library to continue to operate until they receive their next taxes from the county. What we want, though, when these doors open on Tuesday is for these doors to stay open. We do not want the library to close ever again. And that is why... That is why we are working together as a team, as a community, to keep these doors open. I have appointed a Maywood Library Advisory Committee that will work with the library board and provide some recommendations on what we believe will help keep the library going in perpetuity. The Library Advisory Committee is made up of myself, Senator Kimberly Lightford, Maywood Library Board Member Reverend Elliot Winbush and Executive Director Stan Huntington, Proviso School District 209 Board Member Teresa Kelly, and Proviso District 209 Board Member Teresa McKelvey, Maywood School District 89 Board Member Loretta Gostello, and Board Member from District 89 Veronica Bonilla Lopez. Also on the committee is Maywood Park District Executive Director Enoch Clark Bay and Park District Board Member Mr. Bill Hampton. Also on the committee from the Village of Maywood is Mayor Perkins herself and Trustee Mike Rogers. 
Also on the committee, non-elected leaders, faith leader, Reverend Reginald Saffold from the United Faith Bible College and church here in the community. And we also have community member, Mr. Isaiah Brandon. Collectively, we will all work together to make recommendations uh, in collaboration with the library that will help keep it open forevermore. This is a proud day for us to come together and get these doors open again. And what I want to ask now for the library to do before we leave here today, I want to ask Mr. Huntington and the library board to take that sign down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take that sign down. We want that sign to come down today, symbolic of the library opening on Tuesday. I want to thank a number of people who made this happen, and then I'm going to ask a couple of people to come and speak to you. But I want to begin by first thanking Seaway Bank, community partners uh, in this endeavor all the way. I also want to thank the mayor who led on this every step of the way, Mayor Edwina Perkins from the village of Maywood. <laughs> She's a tough cookie, and she got it done. I want to thank the trustees from the village board, trustee Ron Rivers, trustee Mike Rogers, trustee Tony Doris, Trustee Audrey Jaycox, Trustee Mr. Melvin Lightford, and if I'm missing anyone from the trustee, Cross. Trustee Cheryl Ely Cross. But also, all of the folk that are standing here and stood with me in the cold last week, School District 89 Board Member Marie Urso, School District 209 Board Member Teresa McKelvey is here, Mayor Perkins, Teresa Kelly, the longest board member serving in the community is here with us again. Our library board members are here. Rose Mosley, our library board president. Kim Johnson, T.C. Brunius, Socorro, Socorro Vina. I want to thank you all for being here today. And of course, the executive director of the library, Mr. Stan Huntington. I want to thank Rita Esther, School District 209 board member. Uh, Brian Cross, School District 209 board member. And of course, it, it was very important to have the community, all of you who made this happen for these kids and for all of the kids in our community. At this time, I want to ask Mayor Perkins to say a few words to you. Thank you. First, I say thank you for your support and thank you for continuing to be a light in the village of Maywood. When the library closed its doors on Saturday, October 26, it was a strange day at the village of Maywood. While many of our children were happily celebrating their homecoming day at Proviso East High School, and one of the major sources for their education development was shuttering its doors. I believe that good libraries represent the good health of a community. We often say that knowledge is power, and clearly the library is a key institution for the cultivation of that power. The library is a safe haven for our children, a place for our seniors to convene, and a source of literary brilliance and pleasure, as well as important information for all money Williams. I would like to thank the people, and uh, Welch has already thanked those folks, so I do not need to rethink them. But again, I say thank you, God bless you, and continue to support the village of Maywood, because believe it or not, we are on the way. Thank you. For this plan to work, the library is going to have to be a very active partner. Uh, and both the bank and the village is asking uh, that an austerity plan be implemented and turned over to both the bank and the village <coughs> within 45 days. And so I do want you to hear uh, from the library today. Uh, first, we're going to call up our library board president, 
Ms. Rose Mosley. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to see so many of you here. And I, too, want to thank the entities that are going to make it possible for the library to reopen on Tuesday. And I know that their pledges of continued, continued support will ensure that this facility will never, ever have to close again. And we look forward to the support from those of you in the village. We still need volunteers, and we still need friends of the library. So once again, thank you, and I'm very, very glad to see you here, and we are very proud of your support. Thank you. The prior speaker was Ms. Rose Mosley, uh, the library board president. Our next speaker is the executive director of the library, uh, Mr. Stan Huntington, uh, who is going to explain to you the hours of operation. Uh, and again, the, the library will open because it is important that the library's doors be open to the community. But understand that we are far from out of uh, the crisis, and we have to make sure an austerity plan is implemented. And so I call before you, Mr. Stan Huntington. We want to thank Representative Welch for facilitating the negotiations between the Maywood Public Library, the Village of Maywood, and Seaway Bank that led to this reopening announcement today. With this assistance from the Village of Maywood and the Seaway Bank, we can cross the finish line. In 2014, the Maywood Public Library District celebrates its 140th anniversary as the fifth oldest library in the state of Illinois. With its debt soon to be behind it, the Maywood Public Library in this magnificent building is uniquely positioned to serve the citizens of Maywood for the next century. A final round of austerity measures, and there have been many over the last four years, to reach this goal are going in place. The library will reopen on Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 noon and close at 7. Tuesdays and Thursdays the library will open at noon and close at 5.30. On Saturdays the library will observe its normal operating hours opening at 9 a.m. and closing at 5.30 p.m. This schedule will be in place just long enough to cross the, for the final hurdle. As tax revenues improve, this schedule will be revised with more hours. I cannot thank you enough for your support of the Maywood Public Library. Thank you. Before I open the floor uh, to questions from reporters, I do want to thank also uh, the township uh, government present with us here today as township trustee, Mr. Clarence Thomas. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> also, Maywood School District 89 board member, past president, Ms. Regina Rivers is present with us today. <laughs> I point these folks out because it takes a community working together to make these types of events occur. And that's what has happened. We should be proud of working together and opening the doors of the library back to our community. And with that, I'm going to open the floor for questions from any reporters that may have questions 